Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of triangles. This is standard 6.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So triangles, they've got three sides. You might be thinking to yourself, how difficult are they? Well, in sixth grade, we learn how to calculate the number of degrees inside of a triangle. And so when we're talking about degrees, we're talking about the measurement between two lines, the opening between these two lines. And you can actually measure that with a tool called a protractor and they are measured in degrees. Now here's the problem, is there is no information in this problem itself that helps you solve this problem. If you know one little tiny thing, this is a cinch. And here's that hidden trick, or that hidden piece of information. Triangles have an internal sum of 180 degrees. It doesn't matter what kind of triangle you draw, whether it's the one that the problem gives you, whether it's more of an equilateral, whether it's an isosceles, it doesn't really matter. Guess what? Every triangle has a sum of 180 degrees on the inside. It's just a mathematical fact. Just like the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, triangles all equal 180 on the inside. So now it's just a simple subtraction problem. But how can we remember that? Because it's not on your mathematics chart. So this is one easy way that I always remember. Think of a square. We've been learning about squares since at least the fourth grade, about the fact that we've got square corners, right angles, whatever you want to call them. So these are right angles. Well, we also learn in fifth grade that these right angles actually have a number next to them, 90. So guess what? Every single square, or actually it's a quadrilateral, if you want to use the larger term there, equals 360. So every single square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, doesn't matter, equals 360 degrees total on the inside. Now, how does that help you? Take any square or any rectangle, draw a diagonal line from corner to corner, and guess what you get? Two triangles. Once again, it doesn't matter what we get here. We can even draw a parallelogram here. And guess what you're going to get? Two triangles. And so 360 cut in half, because each of these is cut in half, guess what you get? 180. So that's how I always remember. Think of a square, because we know all squares, or all quadrilaterals have 360. You can take any of them, and you can draw a line to cut it in half. Let's pretend that's an, an even line there, and you can get two halves of 180. So once we get that, well, then this problem is very simple. Let's take what we have here. Let's take the 127, only slight trick here, is that it's got, the second one's got the decimal. So you have to line it up like this, 33.5. Simply because this 3 is in the 1's place, and the 7 is in the 1 place. You have to put that decimal. If you want to put a point zero after the 127, that's fine. So let's figure out what we have so far. We've got 5, that's 10, and that's going to be 6. Well, 160.5 degrees so far. Now, how much do we have altogether? We have 180. So let's take our 160.5, and we're going to subtract that. Once again, we need 0 0.0. Subtract that from our 180 right there, and let's see what that little tiny F angle is going to have. And we have to subtract across 0, so that's going to be a little bit of a pain. So that's going to be 10, 9, and there we go, 5. So 19.5 is what it takes to get up to 180. So that would be our answer, because 119.5 plus this 160 make 180. 